I'm at the BSC Expo here in London with JIT from MCS Services and what have you got here? Something brand new, right? This is uh, the world's first MTF B4 2 3rd inch Super 16 Canon EF adapter. Um, the concept was in order to use B4 2 3rd inch lenses on C300 Mark II in center crop mode, i.e. Super 16 format. In, in HD, in, or 2K rather. In 2K as opposed to 4K, because originally most cameras were Super 35 only, the center crop option came as a software upgrade for cameras like Sony, now Canon. Well, and the interesting thing with Canon is that, you know, until literally um, this month, I think, you couldn't record audio in the center crop mode and their new firmware allows you to actually use it to record audio and yeah. have the center crop at the same time. Yeah. So finally, with the Canon camera, with the C3 and the Mark II, you can do it. But I think you can also do it with the US uh, 4.6 as well, is that right? Um, in the EF mount, yes. So any, any, any camera with an EF mount, or although you've got to watch that there's enough space behind. So if, I mean, if we take it off, I don't know yeah. whether we can actually pop it off very quickly. Yeah. And um, you can see the actual element actually goes in recesses into the body. That's that's how you manage to do it. Correct. Yeah. So it'll presumably work with any EF camera that doesn't hit this element. Correct. A DSLR won't work because the mirror will hit that. Absolutely. Um, but if you had a, another Canon camera, you'd have to check that it doesn't hit the filters or, or something like that. Yeah. In comparison to the Super 35mm adapter, which you would lose roughly just under two stops, with our Super 16 adapters, you would only lose 0.7 of a stop and you have the full zoom range of the lens because you can use it in one times and two times position. So you can still use the extender if you've got one? Absolutely. And this would work with, with presumably, I mean we haven't tested it, but I'm assuming it will work with box lenses, you know, ginormous broadcast lenses, yeah. J33s, yeah. any, any of that sort of lens? Yeah. Even if you have the old B4 lenses, obviously HD is going to be more preferable because of the quality between the SD and the HD lenses, but even if you have old lenses without two times extenders, they'll work as well. Okay, right. um, in terms of uh, uh, powering this lens, if we put it back yeah. together a second, if you want to pop that back, back on. To actually get this servo zoom actually working, which it yeah. is at the moment, uh, what do you need? You need needs, needs power? Yeah, uh, we, if you do require servo control, um, it's basically we've got the MTF 12 pin to D-tap or fire or four pin high rows connection cable. So actually we've got we've got it here plugged into yeah. a battery. Yeah, so uh, with regards to servo control on the B4 lenses, it's, it's a 12 pin to D-tap, which will then, through the rocker switch, give you full zoom control. Um, if you have high rows, four pin high rows connection, we also do the 12 pin to four pin as well. Great. Okay, um, how much is this adapt to and when is it going to be available for people to buy? Um, the approximate delivery time will be around th uh, two to three weeks. Um, the price will be 1,500 plus VAT. The one thing which we haven't set up here, which it will require, is the support. Purely because EF mounts um, weren't designed to take the kind of weight that B4 lenses are. Um, yeah, so to be on the safe side, you will require the lens support, uh, which will be available as well. Uh, but but that's, that'll be an additional accessory to the price of the adapter as well. The support will be 175 plus VAT. Great. Jit, thank you very much.